Okay, do you need some help getting documents, maybe videos, into your Google Classroom? Here's how you do it. Open up your Google Classroom. I have several, so I'm just going to show you an example right here in Kinder. Over here in your classwork, you will click Create. This is to create whatever you'd like. I'm just going to use an example, let's see, Material. Right here is where you can name it. I'm not sure what I'm going to add yet. So right down here, if you click add, you get some different options. You can find something in your Google Drive. You can put a link into a web page. You can find a file that you have on your hard drive. Or you can put in a YouTube uh, video. So I will show you each one very quickly. If you know the URL from your YouTube video, I find that that's the easiest way to do it. So let's pop on over to YouTube. I want to share, let's say for example, this Wit and Wisdom video. You will click down here on the share button, copy that URL, go back over to your Google Classroom, paste it in, and then click search so it finds it over there. That's the one I want. I will click on it to select and add. So now I have added in that YouTube video. If I want to add a file from my hard drive, actually it looks like I can do it from lots of different places. I'm going to go, that's my Google Drive. I'm going to upload from my device. So let's say I want to put this one and then I click open. You'll just need to go find where whatever it is that you've saved. Click whichever one you want. Click open. You'll see that it's right here. Click upload. And now you see I have that PDF right down here. All right, the next thing we're going to do is add a link. So I'm going to click add again. Go right here to where it says link. Now I will find whatever link it is that I want. Here's one for the Kitsap Regional Library. Go over and click in this box right up here to get that URL. Push Control and C on your keyboard, or you can right click on your mouse and click Copy. Go back to your Google Classroom. Control V pastes it right in there and click Add Link. And if I scroll down, where did it go? There's that link right down there. Okay, last thing. I will click Add and then something from my Google Drive. Uh, my drive. You'll go find whatever it is that you would like to add. Let's see. Wit and Wisdom books, whatever. Okay, click add. That's it. That's as easy as it gets. All right. Okay, the last thing you need to do is post it. So I'm going to give it a title. If you would like in this box, you can type a description. Okay, and then all you need to do next is click create. If you want to put it in a specific file, you can create a topic like we have one that's here for music. I'll create one that says library because this Google Classroom happens to be one that I share with our music teacher and um, our PE teacher. And then I click add. Oops, that's not right. I click create. Nope, I don't do that either. I click post. There we go. All right, we're all learning here, right? Okay, now you can see there is my file that I've created here. So when the kids go into classwork, they'll see one now for library. They'll see one now for music and they can go, hey, I wonder what's going on in the library. And then here are all those things that I just added. Easy peasy.